Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Shy Baker back with another pick a review. Uh, sorry, it's been a while on reviews, but uh, enough of that talking. Let's go ahead and jump, jump right into the review. All right, today we're going to be reviewing the Air Jordan Mellow M10. Physical size is a 10 and a half. Colorway is as follows: is dark powder blue, team orange, black and white. Jordan.com. In case you want to pick these up, because I don't think they're completely sold out. Don't quote me on that though. Uh, got the print paper, as you can see, the blue laces. Right here, uh, uh, photo blue, la uh, powder blue laces, and uh, as you can see, if I'm holding these in my hand, you already know I did a lace swap. And uh, yes, this is the paper, also from the Brady Levens. But uh, Jordan on the box again. All you box heads out there, there's a thumbprint right there. I thought that was pretty, too pretty cool. And uh, other than that, man, let's go ahead and jump right into the review. And boom. there it is, uh, the Air Jordan. Uh, Air Jordan Mellow, aka uh, Air Jordan Mellow M10. Sorry about that. I uh, can't even talk right now. But uh, <clears throat> this is Jordan's. This is Mellow's tenth shoe with the Jordan brand. So you know they they threw these at him. These Picassos, he call them, which they are dope in my opinion. And uh, for some reason, the camera makes these look a little bit uh, darker than they what they what they are. It's not the light because, as you can see, I do have the light on my camera. But uh, enough talking, let's go just jump right into the review. Starting out with the sole, of course. You got a white, uh, high performance uh, traction sole right there. I would say a uh, traditional sole, but uh, I believe Jordan Brand caught, uh, broke the barrier on that when they when they threw this sole at us. Uh, once it focuses in. And yes, it is. I want to say it's a, a, a full length zoom airbag in this one as well. There's, as, there's one in here, uh, you got the carbon fiber right there, flight plate on the side, and once it focuses in, I'll give you a peep of that. Jump man right there, and then yeah, I did turn it upside down. Why it's like that, I do not know. You also have a, a, a full length uh, airbag in this one as well, which actually make these quite comfy. Coming up to the uh, midsole, uh, you got that uh, more that black and that white. And yes, this is a sole from the Air Jordan 28 and the Air Jordan 28 SE. Uh, you got those cuts in that midsole, which are pretty dope to me. Yeah, carbon fiber peaking right here. You also have carbon fiber right there. And once it folks in, I'll give you a peep of it. White sole right there with those cuts in it as well. Uh, you got, you know, the preference right here, aka the holes for ventilation, as you can see. And this is uh, suede. This is the same material that's on the, uh, the Tour Bravo 4s. You know, if you're looking for what kind of material it is, but once it focuses in, you'll see what I mean. As you can see, soft to the touch. Holes right there. And once it focuses in, I'll give you a peep of that material that's behind those holes. Same as the ones coming on down, more that carbon fiber right there. Curving to the front of the toe box, uh, which is one of my favorite parts of the shoe. And I'll get up and close and personal with it a little bit. As you can see, it is black with it, more that photo blue. With that white part right there, with a white sole right there. Jordan uh, Jumpman right there with the M10. Yes, M10 instead of the XX8. Once it focuses in, I'll give you a peep of that. There it is. Uh, as you can see, if you're reading this right here or if you're looking at it, yes, it does make an M. And if you're not quite sure that it makes an M, go ahead. I'll turn it around like this so you can see what I mean. And once it focuses in, there it is. That M from Mellow. Uh, you also have double stitching in it as well if you was wondering uh, Coming up to the top of the lacing as you can see I did do the lace swap on these I just think they they pop more with this black on a black tongue instead of the blue on the black I just thought the blue was a little too much, but to each his own uh, you got the uh, on team orange lace Lace holes or lace eyelids. Um, they might look red on pictures even on camera But uh, it is a team orange and as you can see there's those rope laces or copies of Hibbit Sports if you're looking for those. Coming on up to the top of the tongue, you also have this like triangle-like uh, design pattern right here, and it is real soft to the touch. And once it focuses in, coming on top, there's those rope laces, that Team Orange Jumpman, as you can see. Curving to the other side of the shoe, I'll swing back to the Jumpman and the M10 once again for you guys that missed it. You got more of those perforation holes right there for ventilation. More of that uh, soft to the touch material right here. And as you can see, this shoe is built old school. Well, because of the material, you don't got like the hyperfuse and all that, so which I thought that was dope in my opinion. 
or that carbon fiber peeping, peaking right there. And you got that uh, back of the hill cup and it says mellow, M-E-L-O, as you can see. This was one of the dopest parts of the shooting me. Most people's like they wish they had kept that uh, this whole thing, like this chrome colorway in. Sad to say, I agree with them, man. It just it just looks like they did a little too much, but it is what it is. I like it. It's dope to me. More of those cuts in that uh, midsole right there. And you, as you can see, there's a 10 year difference. You got the the way they used to do the Mellow logo, and then uh, once they change it up. Once it focus in, you also have those wave like things on the pull tab as you can see. Once they focus in, you'll see what I mean if you missed them. Uh you got that uh black uh soft to the touch material also running along the, the top of the shoe. Getting inside of the shoe, you got a, a black footbed with a uh team orange jump man. Behind the tongue, you have the physical size and the production date. Also, a shoe tree down there as well. Uh, let's get into other shoe real quick. Just a slow, slow uh, review of this shoe that you let you just capture the essence of, essence of the shoe. Uh, once again, y'all, I want to apologize for uh, my videos being behind. Uh, I actually picked up the Nike Code V8 SC. There's a carbon fiber right there, as you can see. And uh, I just didn't do a review because I felt like there was already too, too many reviews out there as well. So just like there are a few reviews on these, but I just had to do a review on these. Anyway, getting back to the review, uh, trying not to get sidetracked. <laughs> but anyways, you got the mellow heel cup right here. You got that, uh, what did I say? This was a chrome colorway. And then it eventually just comes down to the blue. It's almost like mellow with loading, you know, to explosiveness. That's just me, though. <laughs> That mellow, the new mellow logo right there. Perforation on this side, and uh, I'm just glad that they uh that they threw the 28 uh midsole on her. Not only midsole, but the comfortability, man. Cause when I put on the 28s, man, they were that was the most comfortable shoe I've ever had the ability of trying even owning. Appreciate that Jordan brand. Y'all killed those more than carbon fiber right there. Whoops, I already showed you that. Uh. Team Orange Jump, low, uh, I mean Team Orange Jump Man right there. Black rope laces. And the M in front of the uh, the toe box signifying mellow. And uh, that right there about wraps up the review, man. I just want to uh, get a review out there because, uh, like I said, uh, I haven't been slacking. It's just I've been waiting on a pickup and... Uh, you know, I finally got these, and I got them for 140 actually. So, you know, got them for a cheaper price than that 165 Got them off eBay. A uh, shoe company will sell them, so I picked them up. Uh, but uh, once again, y'all, appreciate y'all watching my review. Stay tuned for more in the future. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and I'll put the link to that in the description box below. But uh, other than that, uh, y'all be easy. God is love, and uh, I'll see y'all in the next review. Peace.